Gundam, you PC elitist piece of scum. The PlayStation 4 is awesome. PlayStation doesn't need mods from Bethesda. Fallout 4 is so over. Nobody cares about it. I don't care about it. We have Final Fantasy 15. PlayStation Pro is going to be amazing. It's even better than the PC because it's not overpriced and it still does 4K, you loser. Wait, what? Oh. God damn it. Obligation. It's just about like going and waiting in line. Also, I've got a very exciting agenda for the rest of the week. Battery powered vehicle. Battery powered vehicle. Those might be three of my favorite words. Electric ripstick. I'd like to take this time to talk to you about pretentiousness. Casey Neistat to me seems to be the perfect example of it on YouTube. Just one of many, though. I'm not going to place all the blame on Casey. This Fousey tube, so on and so forth. A pretentiousness as a whole. As some of you may have known, Trump was elected president. And, you know, a lot of celebrities thought he wouldn't win. Hell, I didn't think he'd win. Frankly, I was hoping for a libertarian to get in there, but, you know, I've always had impossible dreams. There are also a number of really pain-in-the-ass celebrities. Uh, Casey Neistat being one of them. Talking about how it's our obligation to ya yeah, ya yeah, ya, yeah, you know. But the fact that there was this huge movement that I always found annoying. When celebrities throw their weight behind a candidate, they sit there and talk as if we should care what they think. As if because you made an album that did well this year or a movie that sold a lot. That your opinion is very important to me based on your success. But granted, in today's world where YouTube success seems to dictate and mandate to people the worth of someone's content by their subscriber count, maybe celebrities aren't far off. There are a lot of fucking sheeple out there. A lot of sheeple who believe in the two-party dictatorship. The Democrats and Ribledlicans. But you know what? I'm not going to get into that just yet. Or maybe it'll be a later video. Breaking Bad star Brian Cranston is absolutely leaving America. If Trump wins, Samuel Jackson's leaving. If Trump wins, uh, that really annoying Raven Simone is leaving America. Trump wins. It, the bitch isn't gone yet. I mean, if there's one plus side for fucking Trump winning, hopefully some of these people will leave because I think they suck. Granted, I'm not happy with Trump winning at all. But if there is a boon in this, I'm looking for the positives in the negative piece of pile of shit. Here, there's some sprinkles. I'm picking the sprinkles out, and I'm like, well, here's a sprinkle. Who else is leaving? Uh, one of the actresses from Orange is the New Black has picked a mental hospital. Cher is moving to Jupiter. She could probably survive there. Molly Cyrus is leaving. All right. That's pretty cool. You see, there's some good coming out of Trump being president. Amy Schumacher, or Amy Schumacher, whatever, that unfunny female comedian, she's leaving if Trump won. Fucking A, man. Maybe Trump deserves my support. He's already doing stuff I like. Hey, now. Hey, now. But in all actuality, the pretentiousness. Every four years we have these electoral bullshits. The ones that really matter to everyone is a presidency. Nobody really gives a shit about their local delegates. Like, just slightly. Like, really slightly. <sighs> the fact that everyone feels that they have the right to project their belief system on you as to what they're voting for. Well, I'm voting for this, and if you don't vote for it, you're an idiot. You know, like, why? You know, all, I'm, all I'll am all say is, you know, if you want to change, maybe let's shake things up and not vote for the same two horses. Wasn't it Einstein who coined the phrase that the definition of madness was doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, expecting different results? Call me crazy. You know, if you really want to buck the system, why don't we stick it to the two big ones? But hey, you don't have to. Do what you want. I don't really give a shit. That's the beauty of being a libertarian. My platform is I don't give a fuck what the fuck you do long as you don't bother me with it like democrats and fucking republicans tend to do oh god i mean i don't know i don't know why everybody's so obsessed i mean i will respect the protest that went on in the seven cities because at least it's people getting out and doing something i mean instead of getting on change.org all the millennials and hipsters got to the streets and started marching i mean it was cool up until gunshots rang out in some areas and police started arresting and beating people but, you know, that's all coming along the pipelines. And my inner conspiracy theory sits there and says, oh, my God, you know, it's going to happen next, right? There's totally going to be fucking martial law and military police. 
I don't know. That's what I'm thinking might happen from all of this because it's only going to go downhill. People are pissed. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I don't realize Trump's stances on fucking abortion seem kind of shitty. Uh, the fact he was endorsed by the Ku Klux Klan scares the fuck out of me personally. But, you know, maybe it doesn't scare you, but it worries me. All right. The fact that, you know, he was supported by them and won, it makes those nut jobs in bed sheets feel like, hey, we're taking back America. We're taking it back. Who are you taking it from? If white people are losing, who the fuck is winning in America? Cause I don't goddamn know. Just fucking say it. Ain't shit to hell, dude. Then you've got this pretentious shit with Casey Neistat doing a 10 minute video on him voting. Like who gives a fuck? Good lord. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should do a video on my 10 minute shit rituals. I call it the hour of power. Sometimes it lasts as long as an hour. And personally, I like taking a shit. I like taking a shit better than voting. Do you know why? Because when I shit, I hold my destiny in my own fucking hands. When I vote, I know it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter a shred. Who the fuck are we kidding? You're playing with your dick, essentially, except you get nothing for it. You're just playing with somebody else's dick. Oh, man, this analogy's going wrong. <sighs> Complain about Politicians. Everybody complains about politicians. Everybody says they suck. Well, where do people think these politicians come from? They don't fall out of the sky. They don't pass through a membrane from another reality. They come from American parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American businesses, and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in. So the reason why I went to visit Oscar today Sorry. is that Oscar and I are taking a carbon it up. Garbage out. <laughs> if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to do you any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here. Like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. <laughs> Nice. You guys okay? What's up, guys? Guys, I gotta go vote. Wait, can I just take a selfie? Yeah. Good. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other bright people of conscience? Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We don't have people like that in this country. Everybody's at the mall. Scratching his ass, picking his nose, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. And right now watching, watching Hillary Clinton's concession speech, Trump won. I just wanted to address that on the vlog. Everybody on Twitter is like, what do you think? What are you going to do? First of all, I know a lot of my viewers are Trump supporters, so congratulations. Uh, I entirely respect the outcome of the election. Trump won fair and square, and uh, and I think the key thing to remember, whether you agree with him or disagree with him, is that the beauty and the, the most incredible part of getting to live in this well, live in that country, live in this country, is that no one person, whether it's a politician, a president, or anybody else, can really control how you live your life. So if you disagree. Now the funniest part I find about the end of this Casey Neistat video is how he's kind of backpedaling. I mean, all of the celebrities are backpedaling. I mean, all celebrities are backpedaling. Raven Simone just did a video where she goes to Canada and tests out living there. And it's supposed to be this big joke. Like, no, bitch, you were dead serious. You were leaving the country. Get the fuck out. I mean, normally I don't say those sort of things, but it's just people I really would like to leave. And now Casey Neistat, I mean, if you remember his last video, it was like, everybody needs backbone. Tell your favorite YouTubers to vote for Hillary Clinton and blah, 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 blah. And now he's like, it's fair and square and blah, blah, because he doesn't care. At the bottom line, this doesn't affect him. Casey Neistat's making shit tons of money. All right, anyone making a lot of money is going to be fine, no matter who gets in office. It's the rest of us that don't make shit that's going to suffer. On top of that, with him also saying, uh... 
the great thing about this country is that no politician, blah, 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 can affect how you live your life. Uh, you know, uh, I think you're dead wrong there, Casey. I mean, there's a couple dead black people with bolts in their chest that might disagree with you. A cop can ruin your life and or day. Hell, a woman, if she's mad enough at a guy, could say he raped her and he could probably do jail time without any refutable proof. I mean... Anything can fuck your life in America today. It's not that free here. Do you want free? You need to move. You know, if America was as free as they're saying and nothing would affect your life, I could walk down the street and just smoke a little doobage in front of the fucking police and they wouldn't do anything. In fact, the cop would go, do a puff for me, sir. I don't even know why the cop became like an old English Bobby, but whatever. I mean, in Holland, you could smoke pot while looking for a hooker in front of the fucking police. It'd be fine. Now, that's freedom right there. Over here, we don't have that. So much of our lives are regulated and fucking controlled. In some parts of America, you can't even fucking have the certain internet provider you want. If your neighbor across the street has Verizon's files and you're stuck with Time Warner Cable or AT&T's bullshit internet, Literally, you could call and ask for that and they go, we're sorry, we do work in that area, but across the street is our territory. Literally, I, I got to find the articles on people who have this issue. But does that not seem like something is impeding you living your life the way you want? And then the other thing is, oh, well, why don't you fucking move? Yeah, real easy to fucking move. You're going to move fucking across the street or to a different part of town with the correct internet and just upheaval your fucking mortgage that you're locked into a 30 year fucking contract with crazy fucking inflations making you a slave till the day you pay it the fuck off and even then you got property tax that is a fucking racket to me but you know I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm not going to actually say all the things that refute everything Casey's saying. And believe me, if the government wants to fuck with you, they can and they will. Hell, the CIA just fucking looks at all of our information anyway. And they've outwardly admitted, yeah, we get all your information, but we can't really sift through all of it. So even some terrorist stuff could get away, even though they're looking at your fucking dick pics. God, it's a fucking joke. The level of just like... I'm gonna have a drink. Uh, George Carlin can finish this shit for me because he sums up how I feel perfectly. I'm not even gonna bother telling people to break, comment, and subscribe because basically, you know what? I've offended the people who like are for Hillary and I've offended people that are probably for fucking Trump. Yeah, I don't support either of them. Hillary would have damn sure put us in a war for Iran, so fuck it. And Trump, I would be surprised if he fucking cripples the company's country's economy sorry i keep thinking of the country as a company and it really is it's just with the fucking bottom and don't get me started on the bank system for god's sakes casey this country is so great yeah that the banks in 2008 went belly up and fucked us all and the government's like okay bailouts for everyone but universal health care oh that'll cripple us that'll cripple us trillions of dollars in military uh fucking in darpa and uh was it black ops or oh, fuck i can't remember it's not black ops or is it? It's, ever since Call of Duty's come out, it made military black ops seem like a joke of a word. I'm done. I'm done. I need something good to eat. Yeah, I'm not religious, but God bless you all, you sons of bitches. Oh, and by the way, for every one dollar that America could back up with gold, we have three magic dollars we pull out of the air. That's what the fucking banks do. We don't have enough gold to fucking back up our money. We can't even go to a gold standard. That's how bad things are in the fucking country. But nobody really knows, cares, or wants to listen to it. Trump's just going to fix everything. And Hillary was for love and peace. Hillary outwardly said she was not into gay men. Nope, nope, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this, not being political. Nope. We're just going to fucking play video games and I'm going to talk shit about people. That's what we're going to do on this channel. Oh, no. <laughs> And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. <laughs> People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say, well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote and you elect dishonest, incompetent people and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, <laughs> who did not vote, who did not vote, who, in fact, did not even leave the House on Election Day, am in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. So I know that a little later on this year you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately.
As for me, I'll be home on that day doing essentially the same thing as you. The only difference is, when I get finished masturbating, I'm going to have a little something to show for it, folks. Thank you very much.